So on these Unifor cylinders, one of the first things we need to do is install this bushing. And it's designed to be a slip fit on here, but occasionally there will be a little paint or corrosion or something, and you just have to get in there with a piece of emery cloth and, uh, and get that out of there, either with your finger or uh, a screwdriver or a punch or something. Rotate that around. And this should go on till about that much thread is showing. Now, sometimes you have to do some twisting action to get it rotated on there. Uh, whatever it takes. Yeah, all right. We have about that much thread showing, uh, probably inch and a half. That's all the way down onto this, this taper here. So once we've got it to where it fits, we put a single drop of red Loctite there, slide it all the way on, and then we hit it with the mallet on a solid surface a couple times to seat it fully onto that taper. So once we've got our bushing installed on the cylinder rod, uh, these next pieces go on here like this, but I'm going to show you how these notches in this plate mate onto the protrusions from that casting and it locks this whole thing so it's not rotating in the field because we want this contoured face to be able to rock here as it's going through the field. So when we cinch this nut down we will want to make sure those prongs and those notches align. So when we actually put this in here for real the wear washer goes here that goes through there like that through there. And then when we zip that nut up there with our air wrench, we'll want to make sure this is in the correct position like that. We secured the bottom end. Now all we're doing is we're going to put the top pin in here like so and put the roll pin back in. <laughs> 